Hai, hello kelas. Hai, good evening everyone. Sir, good afternoon po. Good afternoon, sorry ha. Nalate lang sa kabilang, cha na sa kabilang channel. Sa kabilang section. Okay lang po, sir. Okay, kumusta kayo? Okay naman. Ayos lang naman po. Okay, so how's the vacation? Sir, hindi naman vacation po eh. <laughs> hindi ba vacation? Lockdown, sir. Lockdown. <laughs> Lockdown pala. <laughs> Sir, nagpa-load pa ako para lang mag-class ngayon, no? Ah, talaga? Oh, Siyempre, ka-absent ka. Ma. Paano na yung 100 points mo? Oo oh, nga po, sir. Naisip ko yun. <laughs> Oo, oh, buti na naisip mo. Sayang din. Oo oh, po, ilagay lang naman po. Makinig. Oo oh, nga, makinig. Participate din. Diba? Oo oh, po. Oh, oh, so, handa na kayo ng papel. Just yeah, read, just read your ano ha, pen and paper ha, because we have some uh, exercises today. It's not a uh, graded activities, but I just want to find out if you are really participating. Okay. So handa ka ng papel kaya sa pens. Okay. Okay, so just wait for a moment now. We'll we'll wait for the uh, the others. So those who are now uh, in the room, can you please type your names? I'm I'm recording it now for checking uh, of your attendance purposes. Uh, type your name so I can see it on the screen. Hi, sir. I could see 21 people in the room now. I cannot see your names. Daryl Perum Golpen. So be ready with your calculators also. Hmm. Okay, we'll we'll come. In. Naka record to naka record. I'm recording your uh, uh, names para pag check attendance, madubol check natin kung sino yung present, sino yung absent. Then uh, I will send you the link where to check your attendance. Okay. 100 points. Sige na, those who are in the room, please kindly uh, type your name so I can see it on the screen. discussed last time now before we proceed to the next topic okay can you still remember what we had discussed last time anybody Those who just joined. All right, let us begin. At that, before we we do the lecture, uh, please kindly type again your names. Uh, 
on the screen. I want to see it. Okay, welcome, Mr. Barrett. Seven. Oh, Mr. Jake, why are you leaving the session? Okay, so uh, you can use both your microphone huh, and also your, you can send message uh, if you want to interrupt me anytime. No problem. Okay, class, uh, as mentioned, uh, we'll make a short review of what we had discussed in our first session at MCL, no? our offline session. I promise you to have an exercise the next meeting, but unfortunately, because of this crisis, we're not able to make it. Okay, so our objectives for this session... Kaninong microphone ba yung maingay? Can you can you try to uh, mute your microphone, everyone? Just turn it on when you speak. Okay. So when you want to speak, you just uh, turn it on. But when you are listening, oh, see you, you you've noticed that the noise is gone. Okay. Okay. Good. So the objectives of this part class of our lesson is to define the basic quantities and fundamental concepts in mechanics and solve with two types of units okay as mentioned uh, previously so we have uh, categories of mechanics or first let's just define what's the mechanics so mechanics is the science which describes and predicts the conditions of rest or motion of bodies under the action of forces and we have three categories of mechanics we have the rigid bodies deformable bodies and fluids and as you can see from this uh, slide okay so we have the three categories divided into this uh, picture and we have uh, fluids we have incompressible fluids and compressible flu fluids and our focus uh, class is on the rigid bodies okay in our discussion uh, we we will focus on the rigid bodies where it has two parts the statics and the uh, dynamics so when we speak of statics so it means that we are considering bodies at rest and for dynamics uh, bodies are in motion all right now we speak of statics so in statics both the resultant force and the re resultant moment of the force are zero so that's why uh, we can establish the equation of equilibrium all right so we set the equation equal to zero and in dynamics however the resultant force and moment are not zero and therefore cause a change in the state of motion of the body on which they act and the body in consideration in consideration is assumed to be rigid and the resultant force coupled system is applied at the center of gravity of the body okay so these are the uh, few definitions of important terms statics and dynamics and we have in dynamics two uh, it, it includes two studies now we have the kinematics and kinetics so the kinetics is the study of geometry of motion and kinematics is used to relate displacement velocity 
acceleration and time without reference to the cause of motion so in this part class we'll be uh, discussing about this displacement uh, velocity acceleration when we speak of particle moving or an object moving from a certain point to another point no from initial position to final position and we will be calculating the velocity the acceleration or sometimes you're asked to solve for the time okay so that's uh, kinematics in kinetics so kinetics is study of relations existing between the forces acting on a body the mass of the body and the motion of the body so kinetics is used to predict the motion caused by given forces or to determine the forces required to produce a given motion all right and then we have what we call particle so this time we have to open your mind now the new definition of a particle so before we we when you speak a particle and then, or this time when you speak a particle what comes first to your mind or what can you remember about particle in your early studies anybody yes Daryl motion sir so so what can you can you imagine about a particle yes Ramos Okay, so what comes to our mind is a small object, right? Kasi yun ang pinag-aralan natin noon. When you speak of particle, this is a small, small, small thing, no? Right? But here, in our discussions, yes, malit. In our discussion, no? In the context of this discussion, so particle does not indicate the smallness of size. Rather, it means that the shape and size of the body do not significantly affect the solution of the problem under consideration. Got it? You understand, class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's so that's how the yes, how sir. we define how we define the particle no, in our discussion. In this uh, course mechanics then we have what we call motion of a uh, particle so we have what we call rectilinear motion so in this type of motion so the direction of resultant is constant no, it doesn't change and the motion of particle is along a straight path or a straight line and this is called rectilinear translation. Another one is curvilinear motion. So the motion of particle is along a curved line in two or three dimensions. So these are the two particular motion of a particle, rectilinear and curvilinear. So we'll discuss this in details later on. Then we have what we ha we used in our discussion the the systems of units in our calculations we have these uh, kinetic units the length time mass and force and there are three yes, or the three of the kinetic units referred to as basic units uh, remember huh? there's the three kinetic units referred to as basic units and this may be defined arbitrarily and the fourth unit referred to as the derived unit and must have a definition compatible with Newton's second law of motion. So, ano yung Newton's second law of motion? Uh, we'll discuss this later on. And here, the Newton's second law of motion, this is defined as, now we have the force equal to the product of the mass and acceleration. But take note, the force here, anong classing force ito? May bar sa taas, may arrow sa taas going to the right. What kind of force is this? Vector. Okay, so this is a vector force. Vector. All right, and also vector. the. All right, and also the acceleration is a vectorial acceleration. Yes, sir. Okay, so when you speak of vector, ano yung definition natin class? 
Kailan natin makonsider na ang force is a vector force? Anong requirements niyan? May magnitude and direction, sir. Okay, very good. It has magnitude and magnitude. direction. Okay? Direct. Yes, yes, that's correct. Here's customer units. The basic units are length, time, and force, which are arbitrarily defined as the foot for the length, seconds for the time, and pounds for the mass. And mass is the derived unit. And it is given this formula, M equal to F over A. Or the mass is the ratio of the force to its acceleration. And we have a unit called slug. So slug is in terms of expressed in terms of pound per feet and per second squared. So one slug, ito yung relationship nila. One slug is equal to one pound per one foot per second squared. All right. And here are the uh, symbols and abbreviations. So you need to remember them, class, because later on in our discussions, uh, we have problems that needs you to use one of these uh, conversions. Okay, so in the leftmost of this, or the first column, we have the parameter. That is length, mass, force, time, and so on. No? On the second, in the middle, we have the British Engineering System to International System. So conversion from uh, English system to international system. We have, for example, one inch that is equivalent to 0 0.0254 meter. All right. May I ask? Sure, sure. Yes. Yes. Yes, Carlo. Yes, Carlo. Sorry? Ang sabi niya po may aso. Ah, ah sorry, I, I thought uh, you have some question. Uh, pasensya na, malapit ako dito sa may aso. May ingay talaga. <laughs> Oh, I, I thought I thought you have some question. Okay, so let's let's continue, class. Okay, so you need to uh, remember this, huh? Because uh, one of the problems that we will be solving later on, if not now, maybe in our next session, uh, we will be using the these conversions. All right. So British to English, sorry, British to international system ito yung conversion class inches to meter on the other hand the, the reverse that is international system to british that is meter to inch for example so ito yung baliktad no so you have to remember uh, these conversions all right So next we have the bang discussion na to naka-record po. Tus ka makikita po sa BBL. Ah part lang not not all, no, not all. I'm just a magandang tanong. Na magandang tanong 'yan. Naka-record siya dito sa sa BBL, naka-record to siya class. All right, but I don't know how to retrieve this. But uh, I'm also making my own record, no, for the purpose of uh, uh, documentation. And also for checking your attendance. Para sigurado. Para naman tayo sa mga wala dito. Meron naman tayong uploaded notes. Sa pagkain pa na aso. Nakarecord yan. Nakarecord. Nakarecord yan. Nakarecord. Yon. Thank you sir. Nakarecord nakarecord yung sinabi mo. Nakarecord yung sinabi mo. Don't worry. Hindi ako napakain ng aso ha. Nasa taas ako. Nasa ibang floor ako. 
Laurel. Sorry, Sir Albert. Okay, class. Let's continue, class. Huh? Magpapata sa BBL, Sir. Ha? No, naka... Ang, ang BBL na, nag-record. Ang BBL mismo nag-record. Alright? Nag-record. I'm also doing my own recording. Apo. No? For, para sa... Uh, for my own purpose, for my documentation. Okay? Because we are asked to prove that we are really doing the online uh, activities or online class. Okay? Noted, no? VOCT is denoted by uh, capital letter V or sometimes small letter V. So, depende lang yan sa references natin. But uh, in our discussion, we consider here a capital V for velocity. So, this is defined as the rate of change of uh, position with respect to time. Okay, can you still remember in our calculus before? Now, when we speak of velocity, that is defined as the rate of change of the position with respect to time. So, position niya class, that is referred to the original uh, position of particle until it moves at a certain uh, point. Then you have the distance traveled by that particle. So, the rate of change at that particle with respect to time. So, that is what we call velocity. Okay? Now, the acceleration Acceleration is defined as the rate of velocity with respect to time. Are you still there? Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, so from our calculus. Um, sir, may nagtatanong po, sir. Kung yes. Kung paano daw po mag-collab sa desktop. Are you not using the desktop now? Uh, in my previous section, there, in, in our in, the cell phone, can you read it? Yes, yes, just read it. Acceleration is negative 8.00 meter per second squared. Then determine the displacement of the bar during the speech process. Okay, thank you very much. So, what is uh, asked in the problem, class? Displacement. Displacement. So, which of so which of the formula shall we use? Okay, try to verify. Use your calculator to calculate. So we're asked to solve the displacement. So which of this formula? So, which formula shall we use? Okay, so we can use the third formula. Okay, so thank you very much. Next. So, how about this problem? So, you have the answer. Uh, what you need to do is to use any of the formula or the correct formula to calculate to get that answer. Can you read this problem? I would like to volunteer. Raise your hands if you want to read it. Volunteer reading it. makita kong nag-lift tapos bumalik agad uh, but nawala tapos bumalik after after our discussion saka bumalik uh, ibang usapan na yun 
Top chain na yun sir, pag ganun, pero pag bumalik, yun lang pwede. Alam ko kung totoong internet problem yan kasi kung if you're really interested to to listen to the discussion or to join the online class so pagka, pagka wala, babalik yan kaagad pero pag intentionally mawala talaga siya o nawala uh, ibang usapan yan Okay, that's good Okay, let's go on So which formula shall we use for this problem? Mr. Cedinho. Yung pangatlo po kasi wala din pong time. Okay, so try. Uh, can you try calculating it? Pangatlo, Are you sure? Have you checked your... Opo. Pero po, position po yung hinahanap. Position. So what is the minimum allowed length? Okay. Uh, how about this number? How about this problem? So now you have uh, two requirements here. Okay, anybody? Mr. Cedinho? Mr. Cedinho, can you read the problem? Oh, Manly Gru. sleds are used? Manligro, where are you Hello, going? Sir. Yes, continue, Mr. Cedinho. Can you read the problem? Upton Chuck is riding the giant drop at Great America. If Upton free falls for 2.6 seconds, what will be his final velocity and how far will he fall? Alright, so, class, which of the formulas shall you use to calculate this problem? Yung una, sir. Tapos papalitin ko lang yung... Pangalawa po or yung pangatlo? Pangalawa pangatlo? Bakit? Uh, to calculate uh, for the displacement. Either yung pangalawa po or yung pangatlo. Sir, yung una, sir. Yung una, yung una. Papalitin yung acceleration ng 9.81. Nalilitot ako, sir. No, sige, try to... Masama na gaawa. Masama na mag-aawa, yun. Okay, so how do you how do you calculate the first uh, part of the problem? So what? Acceleration, sir. Gravity. Okay, so you use that uh, gravitational acceleration. Yes, sir. Okay. So free falls. So how will you? apply this formula for this uh, particular problem sir initial velocity is zero okay why is zero Yung, anong rason na bakit zero siya initial velocity uh, drop okay so drop so there's no initial velocity right yes sir about that okay so um, so, if recall siya, sir, gagamit tayo ng negative na 9481. Alright. How about the second uh, item? So, for the final velocity. So, which of the formula? Use the third button. Third, sir. Third Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, first formula. Okay. Okay, very good. So next problem. How about this? Uh, by the way, what is a jaguar? Huh? Anybody? Does it does it matter? Does it matter kung kotse yan or hayop? Ay kotse nga yan, skid mark eh. Skid sir. Oh, so the word skid. Skid sir. Skid. 
So is it a hayop or a car? Kotse po siya, kotse. Kotse yan sir, kotse. Hindi ba pwedeng mag-skid yung animal? So it doesn't matter, di ba? It doesn't matter, right? Pero mahalaga yung given. Yung given yung mahalaga. What is important is the given, right? Tama, tama. Yes, sir. Okay, alright. So which of the formula shall you use, class? Ano yan? Oh, saan sa tatlong formulas? Yung third, sir. Bakit third? Pangatlo, sir. Walang time, sir. Walang time. Third yan, sir. Walang time, sir. Initial, ay, final velocity, at saka acceleration, sir. Mr. Sardinio. What's your answer? Which formula? Yung pangatlo, sir. Okay, so try to verify, ha? Ang iba ang answer, pangalawa ang iba Pangatlo So which is correct? Miss Tabaco Sorry? Yung pangatlo po Can you not try the other one? Yung pangatlo po Can you not try the other one? Matayim sa Sir. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. So, yan ha, you have to understand when or what which formula should be used. Okay, last number. Okay, last last na to. How about this? Sir, wala. Sir, bakit wala po yung sign up dito. Itong last, wala? Yung yung last na example po, pati po yung... Wala to. So, may meaning yan. Okay, so ngayon, meron na. Nakita nyo na, di ba? Okay, so how about this? So, what's your answer for this one? I mean, I mean uh, which formula shall you use to solve this problem? Pangalawa, sir. Pangalawa. So, why pangalawa? So, we use the second formula. Will you arrive at this answer? 8.10 meter per second per second. Correct yung answer ninyo? Okay, so thank you very much. This ends our first part, no? First part pa lang yan. Sir? Yes? Sir, pwede po pabalik dun sa second to the last na problem. Second to the last. Okay, just hold on. 8.1, sir. Okay, second to the last problem. Screenshot ko lang, sir. Okay na po. Okay, thank you. So next, uh, sir. Pati po yung last. Last, sir. Last. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so that's the end of our first part. Now we still have second part. Okay, so we have not uh, so much time, so we'll proceed directly to the second part. Review lang natin yung ginawa natin ngayon. So the second part, so we have the rectilinear motion. This is very quick class, guys. We did not even finish it. Time is very short now, but at least we can begin this one. Okay. So our next topic, yes, this next topic is about rectilinear motion. With two types of units, derive. Use the formula. Yes, um, derive the 
different equations used for particles in rectilinear motion and apply these derived equations in solving uniform and uniformly accelerated, accelerated rectilinear motion problems. Then we have to apply graphing techniques in solving rectilinear motion problems or we can apply integration techniques in solving rectilinear motion problems. So in rectilinear, rectilinear motion problems class, we have at least, no, we, we should know these two things, two uh, methods, graphing techniques and integration techniques. Alright, so here's the concept class. So particle moving along a straight line is said to be in rectilinear motion. So again, to remind you, when you speak of particle, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter ha, no? Gano siya kalaki, kaliit, ang shape niya. So it doesn't matter. So particle moving along a straight line is said to be in rectilinear motion. So we have here the horizontal line class with a point O. That is the initial position of the particle. And point P, that is the position the particle after it moves from the origin or from the point O. So position coordinate of a particle is defined by positive or negative distance of a particle from a fix, fixed origin on the line. So in this case, uh, we have here uh, uh, a length, one meter. No? As you can see, uh, the distance, the, the unit here is one meter. Um, distance from one from one line to another line the vertical line okay now the motion of a particle is known if the position coordinate for a particle is known for every value of time t motion of a particle may be expressed in the form of a function that is as you can see in in the equation below we have here x as a function of time t equal to 60 squared minus t cube or in the form of a graph like uh, this graph as you can see in the left side we have here the graph of x versus time so x that is the position or the distance from the origin in terms of meter and the time in seconds that is the horizontal line okay then we have there here the graph that represent this function yung graph class na ang kulay blue right that is the the function of time of the position as a function of time given this equ equation 60 squared minus t cube all right now consider the particle which occupies position p now again we we use in our next illustration so in our calculus, uh, differential calculus, we define the acceleration as the, the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. Alright? And by definition, we know that uh, velocity is the rate of change of the position with respect to time. So we can say that uh, A or acceleration is the derivative of the derivative of the position with respect to time with respect to time so that's why in our formula we have there a equal to dv over dt or derivative of the velocity with respect to time and that is equivalent to the second derivative of the position with respect to time so we have d squared s over dt squared so ibig sabihin class yung exponent yan sa d as a numerator that indicates the second derivative of the position or we call it the distance with respect to time so in other words yung acceleration natin class dalawang basis natin differentiate yung uh, tinake natin derivative ng position so second derivative of the position yun yung acceleration natin alright so we're, we're going to check your attendance now So we're 
at the wrist. You need to check yeah, because when I check your attendance, uh, you need to double check if you are mark absent or mark present. So I will send you I will send you the link. I will send you the link where to find. I will be getting my name late. Just wait for the announcement in the BBL. Okay. So hold on, hold on. I will check. I will use BBL to check your attendance. Okay, sir. Don't leave yet. Okay, sir. I'm checking your attendance now. When I when I call your name, uh, say present, and at the same time type your name on the screen. Oh, yes, sir. All right, uh, Abadia. Present, sir. So type your name at the same time. Where is your name? Type your name. When you say present, type your name at the same time. Almonte. Absent. Barrett. Barrett, absent. Present, present. Carlos, sorry, Marquista. Marquista present. Okay, so ganun gagawin ha. When I call your name, you say present at the same time. You type your name. Boringot. Boringot. Nicole and absent. Kabako Cantos Cantos Karaan Say present if you are present. Karaan, present, absent. Si Dinyo. Present, sir. Kuliantis. Absent. Da, sir. Thank you. 